How's it? And welcome to another episode of Up and Under. I'm Anton Taylor, and today I have the great pleasure of chatting to Dukes. What's up, Anton? Damien Dialende. Uh, let's just, okay, let's get it out the way. Your surname, how's it pronounced, bud? Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of different pronunciations. A lot of, I've a lot of confusion, yeah. So yeah. I get confused with my own surname sometimes. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going with. Uh, Damien Dialendi. Okay. Um, yeah, that's one I believe. Is you are Spanish, uh, do you have Spanish roots, right? Yeah, yeah, I got Spanish roots. <laughs> now, there we have it. And they do call you Dukes as well, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, my, my, my nickname is Dukes. Some of the guys at the Stormers also call me Dukes every now and then. Okay. Anyway. Look, I mean, let's get into the, the important stuff straight away. Um, you were Cosmo's man of January, all right? And I mean, I could understand why, you know, a woman's magazine would, would uh, vote you that. You know, you've got dark hair, Facial hair, short sides. I mean, it's just, you know, what more could a, could a lady want? Um, I know I've been asked by the, the DHL Newlands uh, female faithful to ask, do you, have a, do you have a lady in your life? No, I'm currently still single. Oh, okay. All right. I can hear some fireworks going off. Yeah, from... I'm searching for the pot of gold, but I haven't found it yet. Well, you know, you, you got to keep on searching. <laughs> now, um, you're from, you're from Milnerton. Um, do, you, do you have, you are quite, you're proud of your, do you get like a, do you have, I mean, you must have, as far as I know, I mean, you're probably Milnerton's biggest rugby export uh, for, a, for a while. Lucky enough to be the first Prima for Milnerton. Oh, is it, eh? That's cool. When you go, what's it like at Milnerton? Uh, yeah, it's quite awesome um, to go back to the school every now and then and still get a nice response from the kids. Do they ask you for autographs or do they, are they just quite polite and they just do what you say? No, or? some of them ask for pictures. Um, oh yeah, that's not, no, not, I grew not, up when we yeah. didn't have camera phones. So. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have any like uh, pre-match superstitions or do you have a routine that you do before you, before you play? Always put my left sock on first and my left foot on first. Oh really? Uh, yeah. yeah, before my right foot. I don't know why, it's just something always like. When did it start? I, I don't actually remember, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just something I always do now, um, so I'll, I'll stick to that. Okay. Any bad luck, touch wood. <laughs> Dukes, you've been out injured for a while, and uh, now you're coming back. How are you, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling straight. good. I'm feeling good. I think uh, it was a blessing that I had a bit of an injury. Obviously, it's not nice to get injured, but um, sometimes a break is good for you. It's mm. good for your health. It's good for your for your mental stability as well. But yeah, I'm very excited to be with the guys again. What, what sort of stuff do you do when you're not playing? Right? Yeah, I do like to get away and stuff. Um, I, in, I really love playing golf. Yeah. Um, I'm not the greatest golfer what's yet. So what's your handicap? Um, yeah, I think my, my handicap is a 16, so it's, okay. not, it's, it's not too bad. Not too um, bad at all. Still, still getting there, but. Um, but yeah, obviously, when, when it's playing season and the guys are playing weekend or week, week out, it's very important to get your mind of things. Whatever. What kind of music do you, do you listen to? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very relaxed. Uh, it also depends on my mood. I'm a little, I normally go for whether R&B or hip hop or okay. some, something nice and relaxed. Okay. Like, I don't get oversight for, for games, so it depends on my mood on the yeah. day. So I just need something just to relax me and stay calm. Because we, we do have music in the change room. Sometimes okay. that helps, but other times you also need to just, just me time just yeah. before kick off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you have like a favorite rugby player that you when you were growing up or like your sort of role model? When I was in school I actually liked Kyo's fan page on Facebook and I really? followed his fan page. So yeah, it's one of my role models I look up to a lot. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it was about four years ago when I actually started playing with him. I was actually like it's actually quite weird. Did, did you uh, have I to act cool at first? Or did you like, no. did you eventually tell him like, no. I like, I like you? <laughs> no, 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 I think I said it in an interview once, but I never told him personally. Okay, so say after you've won a match at DHL Newlands, um, what do you do afterwards? You know, what are your, your post-match sort of uh, activities? Yeah, so, so after, after the game here yeah, at DHL Newlands, we uh, will have a team meeting quickly in the change room and have a hard old sing our team song. So if you're playing against the South African side, then we always have friends from the other team. If the guys are staying out in town, then we normally all meet up to get together. Okay. And then after we play the Bulls, we all went out for dinner in Camps Bay, which was very nice. And you can see now chicks are going to be taking notes <laughs> about, okay, she sometimes goes to town, sometimes Camps Bay. I'll see you there. Be... See you there. <laughs> <laughs> David, Bruce, thanks very much for coming to chat to me. Good luck for the season ahead. I mean, the DH of Faithful behind you 100%. And we're very excited to, to see you back on the field, boy. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks, guys. <laughs>